one thing that really stuck out to me um, pretty much day one on the ice with all these guys is everybody's out there competing hard, looked really crisp, looked really fast, and um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far and I'm just hoping we can build on that. Certainly one of our goals is to get home ice this year. I think that we'll really be in uh, a position to, to fight for that coming down the stretch the second half of the year. And I think that, that uh, once you do that, if we can do that and you play at home in the playoffs, it's certainly a great benefit. Ate, you know, he um, came in last year, um, stepped in when, when Dolly was, was hurt and whatever, and he did, he did an incredible job for us. Obviously, he won multiple awards, and he's a great goaltender. He always works hard. Um, good guy, and I think we're lucky to have him. Guy works nonstop, you know, even in practice, he's giving it 110%. Um, in the workout room, he's doing everything possible to make himself better, even uh, in school. Uh, the guy works hard and he's just got that mentality where he just wants to be the best and I really think that that's what this team needs. We have some, some guys, Robbie Payne, Shane Tooth, uh, Dom Shine, Zach Diamond, Tony, tons of guys like that. Uh, they have experience, they're, they're going to contribute. So, you know, we, we did lose a couple guys like Darren Nowak this past year, but I think we have some guys that are ready to step into roles. Uh, Robbie Payne is a guy that really has the ability to improve his offense and up his goals for uh, Zach Diamond Tony looks like a much better player this year. Troy Loggins, a guy that played 13, 14 games before he was injured, has come back and really looks good and, and looks like he can be a dangerous offensive weapon. You got you know Jordan Clement, he's one of the great, one of the better guys on our team, as well as Brock. Brock will probably be leading our power play. And also we got guys like James Ramulin, Connor Franti, got a lot of size this year as well as speed. Particularly, I like the, in, the increase we have in our team speed. We've added a number of guys that have good puck skills, the ability to move the puck up ice quickly, the ability to skate. Um, and I think that the middle of our lineup is probably going to be much better than it was a year ago. With our, our freshman group this year, I'm excited to uh, see what they bring to the table. We have a couple guys that won national championships in the USHL and in the um, BCHL, so I'm I'm excited for these guys. So far, I've been really impressed with their work ethic and and their speed and their commitment on and off ice. I think the WCHA is always a pretty tight, gritty, hardworking league. It seems every year the standings come down to one team winning a game, losing a game can change so much. A year ago, I really liked our season until the last maybe five or six games of the regular season. We had put ourselves um, in a great position to, to capture home ice, and we just weren't able to get, we needed one more point coming down the stretch, and we weren't able to do it, and that certainly was disappointing. We got into a playoff series with Ferris, and we had a great playoff series down there. When you get involved in that kind of playoff hockey, that's when players on a team and teams really have the ability to grow uh, exponentially and I think that that playoff series a year ago really uh, showed our guys you know what where we need to grow what we need to do to be able to have success. We've seen quite a few games going overtime ties something that will play a key role and that will be our our leadership from our from our older guys they'll be able to kind of have that mentality and know that we don't want to be losing these these little points here one point here one point there because they really add up. One of the things that um, that we've been very successful at, particularly last year, was winning at home. It's something that as a program we've always talked about. And I think that for you to be a good team, you need to take care of your home ice. I was really proud of the effort the guys put in a year ago. And again, was really happy with our home ice record. We need to continue that, um, you know, if we're going to have success this year.